Hey guys, it's your girl Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving me. This video is well overdue. I should have been done this last year, but I never got around to it because I didn't want to really just show my numbers. But I am going to do my debt consolidation today. And if that is something that you are interested in, stay tuned. All right, guys. So I have been putting this video off for months and months and months. I've been saying that I wanted to do this, but... Every time I got ready to do it, I kind of got, ooh, I didn't want to show my numbers or whatever. But my goal this year is to be as transparent as I can and share as much as I can with you guys because I never know who it might help. I am a single mother of four, two are grown. I have two living with me. But and as you guys know, if you are mothers, you never stop taking care of those kids. So you are always helping out but i'm going to jump right into this and so you guys so you guys can see these numbers all right okay so i am going to be working out of my debt crusher book i um and this basically just have everything in here that i need to keep up with my debt this is all this book is about is just to track all of my debt i did put my 2023 calendar in here and i went ahead and marked all of my paydays so i know when i get paid and it makes it easier to have them uh, marked off too so i have a payment tracker in here i'm not going to do this today i also had a have a debt snowball tracker here and then we are going to get into our debt tracker. This is what we will be using for today to get all of my numbers down. And I will explain to you as I go. So what I'm going to do first is start with what I have to pay. And I'm going to write them in order by the due date. I will be using Papermate um, ballpoint pen that is 1.4 and it is in purple. So let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be for January. I had to put my white out up here just in case I mess up on something because it seemed like every time I get to recording, yeah, I always do something to mess it up. So I'm just going to have that right there just in case. Okay, so I'm going to get my bills written down and let's go through it. So on the first, I have my Discover card. On the fourth, I have my Capital One. On the eighth, I have my Credit One. All three of these are credit cards. On the 10th, I have, um, what do I want to call that bill? It's not a collection, but it's a bill that I'm paying. I'm just going to put payment plan.
or I could have put a could have put a collection on the twentieth. At the twentieth, I have. I'm gonna put collection because this is a medical medical bill. And I could have put it on all of those. And then the 21st, I'm going to put um, collection as well. And oh, so the 21st, did y'all see I put that? So the 21st. Okay, so on the 21st, I also have Ally. That is who my car is financed through. On the 24th, I have a cell phone. I'm just gonna put kid one. The twenty fifth, twenty eighth. We'll do another cell phone. It's kid two. And my phone is also due on the twenty eighth. I'll just put mine on there. Um, and then I have seem like I'm missing something. Well, I, um, let's go to student loans. I have Mojia. I did have. Navient and Great Lake, but I did get it consolidated and it's all on one. So, this is the good part. Well, not for me, for you guys. <laughs> um, let's do the balance on each one. So, for my Discover card, I have $379 on there for my Capital One. I have 661 for my credit one. I have 870. For my payment plan for the 10th, I have a total of 100 and 85. Hundred and eighty five for this collection here. Yeah, I paid this is zero. I paid this off. That's zero. And for here I have one, I think no, I paid this off too. Okay, so hold on. Let me get this right, y'all. So I this one started at six hundred and five dollars. I paid it down to one eighty five. This one started at five hundred and eighty five dollars. No, three hundred and seventy seven dollars. This one is paid off. I paid this off at the end of December. This one started off at five eighty five. I have this one down to one seventy six, starting as of January. It was one seventy six, but I did pay that one off already. Um, so for Ally. I 
25. I think it's 880. No, 20, 25, 288. And then for cell phone number one, I owe 612. For cell phone number two, it is $5.99. And for my cell phone, I owe $86.47. But I'm not going to put the change down. It's $86. And then for my Mojilla student loans. Are y'all ready for this? Because I'm not. <laughs> so for my student loans, I owe $73,000. $141. Yeah. So let's get that added up and see how much I owe. guys so i am at a total of 101,997 dollars yeah and i'm going to re-add that to make sure it's right all right so that is my total i'm gonna write that right down here because I have a total of $100,997. All right. So that is my debt confession. And I'm going to go ahead and put my minimum balance here. No, I'm not going to write that in there. But what I am going to do is write right over here that this one is paid off. So I won't write it in next month. And this is paid off. Okay, one seventy six. The minimum payment on here was one hundred. So I paid all of that off, and I mark a line through here and a line through here. So that is it for my debt confession. This is what I owe: a total of. $101,997. In my next video, I will be doing my debt snowball and showing you guys how I actually plan on getting this debt down. And you guys know I appreciate you for coming by. Thank you if you have already subscribed to my channel already. I reached 750 subbies and I am so excited. I really appreciate you all. If you are new, I hope that you consider hitting that like and subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload content and leave me a comment about this video or just some encouraging words because y'all, this was really hard for me to do to jump on here and actually show my numbers. I sit up and I look at them all the time. I get discouraged, but discouraged is no more when it comes to my debt. I'm going to face it. I'm going to pay it off as much as I can this year. My goal is to pay at least $10,000 off in debt. <sighs> they kind of hurt my feelings just to say that, but 
you guys know I'm not going to hold you long. And I want you guys to be blessed, queenies. Bye.